Good evening, everybody. We are back with Silent Hill. Last time we we uh we did the hospital, the Al Camilla Hospital, and now we know we have to go to some sewers to get to like the lake, because that's the last place where Cheryl might have been, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Anyway, stream starting kind of late today, but um. Yeah, that's, this is this is the earliest I could actually get the stream, unfortunately. Um, and tonight, today we're probably gonna get, try to keep it a little short, as in two hours each. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. We again just started. Haven't missed a thing. Mandatory sewer level, indeed. What's coming for me? I appreciate the things. Okay, right off the bat we just kill one of these pterodactyl things. Okay, so anyways, the, the th sewers are supposed to be by the... Is there something in the trash can? I have actually checked, there is nothing in the trash can. Okay, uh, the sewers are supposed to be right by the school. I think that's like the one of the few areas that I didn't explore in all Silent Hill. So let's go do that. Anyway, so that's too bad the stream will be short. Yeah, again, just gonna have to try to keep them shorter now considering I want to be more tired with the new work schedule. Like, I actually have a full week uh, of my first job coming up because my, my schedule change doesn't apply until next week. So this week I actually have all Monday to Friday relatively long days. So my last week, my last full week in my current job will be, you know, Pretty long. Also, they act we actually got all the teleported here. This must be what the, that wall was this I was talking about. Ah, well, that's convenient. They didn't have to travel all the way here. It's, it's locked. Hmm, the lock is worn out. I may be able to break it if I hit it hard. I mean, like, we wanted... We wanted these. We wanted these. We can do that. There we go. Okay, excellent. Now let's go into the sewers. Well, well let's explore the, the surrounding area of the sewers. Oh, we got ominous music already. Well, that's just great to hear. Um, anyway, so how is how is your old mother stay? Did you enjoy? Time with your mothers. Are you your, are you yourself a mother and had a good time with, uh, with the people surrounding you? Do you consider yourself a pet owner and therefore a mother, and that you did you celebrate with your pet or something along those lines? You know, I actually went to a um, actually had a, had a bit of a not very ideal um, Mother's Day, I'm afraid, because I we actually went to a Korean barbecue. A Korean steakhouse for the first time, and uh, we had no idea how it worked. I, I like I thought it was just, you know, you go there, you ask for whatever it is that you want to eat. We got some, we got some noises here. Oh, it's, it's it's the cockroaches. Okay, can you? The cockroaches are being more problematic than I thought it would be. But anyways, I actually had no idea that a Korean steakhouse actually had you, um... You know, um... You know, you would order... You know, the, the steaks. And then you have to cook them. And then, you know, it was like weird. And there's like this burning thing in the middle. Hi, we got a new enemy. Ow. Okay, can you... Jesus. I'm actually dying already. Holy crap. Let me... Let me fix that real quick. There we go. Yeah, but I actually had no idea how a Korean steakhouse works, and now we do. And, uh... <laughs> we didn't like it too much. Is what I'm trying to say here. Um... Like, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. But, uh, 
my mom in particular really didn't like the system. So that was unfortunate that on Mother's Day I, g I got her to try something that she ended up not liking. Um, but at least now we know we're in a steakhouse. It's not a, it's not that they're bad. It's just that we we don't we don't really like them too much. You know, I was I was imagining just you get a menu and you order steak that's seasoned. Uh, in accordance to, you know, like, you know, Korean seasoning or whatever, but no, it's actually like a full system over there. Alright. Let's see. We got a thing here. Rifle shells, that's very convenient. Not sure what that's doing here, but I'll take it also. Why are there boats down here? There's a whole slew of things over there, too. My mother's day was okay. I bought my mom a blueberry pie and pumpkin pie, but little did I know she likes peach pies the most. Well, I'm reminded of the gummy CD, the, that vague from Tulsa Rebirth shouts, PEACH PIE! Well, I'm sure you can find... If you were here from Georgia, I'm sure you would find plenty of peach pies over here. This is, after all, the peach state. That said, I myself am not a particularly big fan of peach. So, um... We, we, we don't do peach too, too much in my house, but we do it in Georgia. Georgia is the peach state. You can find many peaches, even though it's actually not... It's actually not like the most common fruit uh, purchased at the supermarket where I work. Actually, only a couple of people every once in a while buy peaches. So... Maybe, maybe it's not quite a, as fitting a name as one might imagine. Okay. Anyways, also I realize I'm failing to be scared even a little bit by this source again because I've played this game many times already. I know I know what to expect. I know everything that's going on here. These enemies aren't too threatening at the end of the day. Can do a bit of damage though. So you gotta watch out for that. Um, but anyways, yeah. So it's better to have tried the Korean steakhouse and figure out that we didn't like it than. Uh, Never try a Korean steakhouse at all, and then never figure out that if, if we like it or not, you know. I, I, we like trying things out. And if we say we don't like it, well, we don't like it, that's fine. You you can not like something. It's okay. You, you're you not gonna like everything in the entire world, whatever. Okay, we got a map here. We got a safe point. Let us save in the infirmary. Now we're in the sewers. That was the end of Hat and Time stream. I actually fell asleep after you got all the collectibles on the Time Rift in the Yakuza. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, like after after we finished the Yakuza Metro Time Rift, it unlocked another Time Rift, like in the, in Pat Kid's spaceship, um, which was actually the st which uh, in that one you actually go to the but Jesus Christ. Can you, like, not be there? Ow. How much damage does that do? Not that much, but I'm gonna whip out my gun, because I don't like these people. Um, but yeah, we, we actually allowed us to go over... Over, um, the Mustache Girl story, and, you know, we were, every stage in that new time rift was, like, a small area. Of um, of um, what's the name of it? Of the uh, of the main levels, so it was pretty cool. But I actually ended up missing one art piece, so I'm gonna have to go back there eventually and find the last missing art piece and figure out what this was the final bit on the uh, on Mustache Girl's story. Um. But as far as main content for a hat in time is concerned, we're done. Uh, we also get to check out what Bull Kit looks like if you select her instead of Hat Kit on the, uh, you know, when you start a new game. And I mean, it's Bull Kit. It's just, it's just Bull Kit making the exact face, of, same facial expressions as Hat Kit, except for like minor differences here and there. And otherwise, it plays exactly the same. So, you know, it's just, it's basically just a skit, but that's cool. Um, where are we going? Did I not come from here? Uh, might have not. 
It says here that I didn't go to an area up there on the top left. So maybe I should go over there. Did you show a trailer for the next Sunday game? Uh, not yet, because we're not actually done with a hat in time. We are done with the main story, basic stuff of Hat in Time, but we still have at least one mod showcase stream to do. Um, which is... Um, which uh, supposedly mod support will be re-added on the 17th. It was taken out because, you know, this, the game was, wasn't compatible with it right now. But it will be re-added on the 17th. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out a couple of mod levels, just to just to showcase how active the Hat in Time modding community is, and then then we're done with the Hat in Time, and I can show you uh, the next Sunday game. Okay, I've been here. I don't think I have. Ah, see, I need a sewer key for that one. I got some roaches here. Somewhere. Okay. I hate this roach so much. Okay, yeah, but... Next Sunday... Well, okay. Again, next Sunday we're probably not actually going to have a stream, because next Sunday is when I first start my next... So, you know, next time we stream ahead in time, at the end of that stream, we'll show the the next uh, the next game. I can't call it a Sunday game anymore, because again, my, my work schedule is going to completely uh, change my, my stream schedule. But, um... You know, the next time we stream ahead in time, I'll show the next game that I'll be streaming in place of ahead in time. You know, when we're done with Silent Hill, well, okay, kids, you guys know it's gonna be Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, so that's not, that's not a... That was not a secret. But, you know, after that, after Silent Hill 3 is when you got, when I gotta show the next trailer. Okay. Speaking of, I think potentially the next, um... The next time I'll be able to stream... Um, will be, um, they just heard some weird noises. Anyways, um, the next time I may be able to stream, maybe this, this coming, uh, uh, Tuesday night. That's when, um, That's, uh, because the next day, on Wednesday, I'll be working, you know, I start work kind of late, so we can, um, so we'll be able to, uh, to do a stream the night before, hopefully, but again, it's always possible that something will come up, and if it does, that's when I gotta, you know, make a conscious decision. Okay. Ow. Okay. Anyways, oh yeah, if you only have one stream a week, which game will you decide to do? Probably whichever game is longer. Um... So... Yeah, like, if I, if, um... If I only get... If after next week I only had the ability to stream one day the week afterwards, I would choose to stream Silent Hill whatever. You know, assuming we're not done with this one yet. I would stream like Silent Hill, um... Uh, let's say one or two over either a hat in time or whatever the next game after a hat in time would be. If instead, um... You know, whatever the other game would be longer. Uh, like, like let, let's say if I was playing like a long JRPG in a single horror game, uh, you know, I would choose the JRPG over that one. But ideally, ideally, I should not be stuck with too many uh, one-day streams. I mean, one-day, one-stream weeks. Um, 
hopefully. Uh, it's not a guarantee, but you know, I'll... I'll try to look for more streaming opportunities when given the chance. Um... You know, any, any... Any day when I'm not working, like, early the next time, I, I, would, I would like to try to stream the night before. Or if I'm starting particularly late on a, on a day, I may be able to, like, sneak in a morning stream. Now, that was, those would actually have to be morning. Like, morning stream, not afternoon streams. Um, you know, that would be, like, the only time I would have. Um... But you know, uh, I'll have to keep keep a track of um, stream archives too if I end up doing that because you know I have to be able to upload everything that I do on YouTube. All right, let's see. I'm not entirely sure what these creatures are, by the way. They look. Like rejected mutant ninja turtles, but um, I suppose that's the idea. Okay, so where are we going exactly? We can go to the left, and there's a ladder over there. But I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Also, because you said only Thursday was your off work day, so that makes stream schedule sounding bleak. Yeah, like I know my second job is gonna want me. To be available for either opening or closing. Um, so you know, some days I'll open, and that'll be, um, you know, that will probably mean I, I won't be able to stream. And then some other days, what was that? There it is. I thought crush was kind of weird. Um, but anyway, some days I'll be able to stream. Um, you know, if I'm opening the next day, I probably won't be able to stream because, you know, I'll have to be, like, up early so I can get to work on time. Um, whereas other days, maybe I'll get luckier and, um, you know, have to close the next day. So, you know, I'll, I, would, I would not have to be up as early. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, or maybe... Maybe even, like, the, the second job where I'm gonna be working at is not gonna open, it doesn't actually open that early. So maybe I would be able to, um, to stream the night before, as, assuming I, like, I go, assuming, like, if the night before I start, like, at 10, or at the most at 10.30, and immediately go to bed after I'm done streaming. Maybe I would still have enough sleep to be able to do something. Um, but it's not a guarantee. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to see how early I have to wake up to get to work on time, considering traffic and all of that. And, um, and how tired I'll be from having to work early. Why does this place have music? Okay. Anyways, I'm pretty sure I remember what's gonna happen... Yeah, like right here. So it might actually be smarter to... Do a thing. Okay, so here's some blood. There's a sewer exit key in the wall. I'll take it? Sure. There's a guy, there's another guy. There's a third guy right there. I think maybe even more. So, um... Yeah, what happens now is that we just have a bunch of enemies. That just spawned. And honestly, it's too many for me to... Try to fight all of them. I don't want to waste that much ammo, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put that on. And just run for it. Okay. Anyways. That's the first red-looking blood I've seen in these sewers. Yep, everything else in here bleeds green. Which I want, like... I must have gone through a lot of work to, um... To make all of the, uh... 
all of the enemies like bleed separate separate colors. Maybe on PS1 that was like particularly harder or something. Okay. Anyways. Oh. Interesting. So they actually keep the enemies spawned even at the other side of the door, but you know they're not smart enough to actually open doors. So they're just stuck over there. Well, that's convenient for me. Says I think that says electric, but I'm not here. You will go away like that. That like I know that I'm not actually in danger here, but. That is an annoying noise. Ah, whatever, let's just... What else do we have in here? Anyways, that was the sewers. Pretty sure we're done here now. Um, it's not the scariest place in the world, as you have seen here. Um, the lack, the, the almost complete lack of music does make it creepy here. And you know how dark it is is also kind of creepy, but the 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 layout itself is not particularly complex. It's it's pretty it's pretty easy to just go from point A to point B and do your business. All right, we are now in a new area, and it's also nighttime. I don't like that, but it's not creepy Silent Hill mode. It's just nighttime. Okay. I will need a map of this place ASAP, though. Let's see. We have been streaming for 22 minutes. Not too bad. Pretty much did everything I needed to do already. Okay. I don't actually remember if we're gonna be back in the sewers, though. Uh, we might? What's coming for me? What is it and what does he want from me? Oh, it's one of these things. How close is it? You know what? Fuck it, let's just... If it's gonna be the normal pterodactyls, I'm not too concerned. Okay. Yeah, the normal pterodactyls do not scare me. The the creepy Silent Hill mode pterodactyls, those are a little bit more uh, potent, more threatening. But the normal pterodactyls, I have some easy pie. Okay. I think there was some rifle bullets back there where the handgun bullets were. Really now? Did I already miss that? Hold on. Now where was that? I don't have a map. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was... This general is that a map? Well, okay, it is a map. Is it a map I can take? It is. See, we are now in the resort area. Okay, cool. So now we have actually got a map of this location. All right, so it's not too big. There's a lot of just straight road down there in Sanford Street, um, and there's a couple of places we can visit here. So I guess we'll do that. In fact, I'm pretty sure we have to go down there to that lighthouse by the lakeside over on the bottom left. So we've got plenty to explore here. Alright, so were the rifle bullets here? Oh my god, there were! They actually mix in with the ground. How are they? <laughs> Good eyes, I appreciate it. <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay. Anyways, um... Let's start by going over here. I think that's just this area though. We have two buildings to check out over here in this uh, this little street. Where is it? I'm gonna turn around. Okay. Is it going back or is it going away? I don't know, it's kind of hard to hear. Alright. Also, you actually do want to explore this area. 
there is a particular event, optional event that happens here. That affects, I believe, yeah, it affects the ending of the game. Um, so you want to do a couple things here. So I'm on frozen duty tonight, and apparently that's been the case every Sunday night since I started this job. I just never noticed. Oh. Well, uh, first of all, hello, welcome to the stream, and second, interesting, so... Does that mean you're in, uh, just, you're supposed to be in charge of the frozen department, but you never explicitly knew? You're supposed to be taking care of the frozen department? Okay. And that means I don't have to be precisely on time since I work that job solo, so I can take some time to chill here before... Ah, well. Alright, we're, we're glad to have you here. Um... The thing you've missed so far is we went to the sewers. Um, and we are now in the uh, residential area. Um, the sewers themselves were creepy but not like super scary. They had some monsters in them but the... Um, but the monsters themselves were pretty easy to take care of so you know nothing concerning. What is it? Oh there's a dog here. Okay. Oh he's dead. Never mind. You got some burger. You guys want some Silent Hill burgers? I wonder if the burgers are actually made of the, uh, of like the weird creature meat. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to think about that. Okay. Nothing in the trash can. Nothing in the. Tra you got all those guys trash. Check the trash cans in video games. They like to throw shit away in this. In this games. Okay, so what's over yonder? Of course, there's nothing. Alright. You know, for a tiny town, this Silent Hill does have some really wide, like, driving roads. Okay. So what we're looking at here? Oh, it's more distance. I think when it's a particular... No, it's still making noise. That means there's another enemy around here, but... I guess the radio can actually tell you of more than one enemy. Depending on the pitches of statics. That it does. Okay. Anyways, what is this again? I think this is the bar. No, oh, Indian Runner. Oh, there he is. Ah, get off. Jeez. I'll hurt him right now. Ah, I'm still fine. Yeah, those things don't do too much damage, so I'm... I'm A-okay. Uh, how many bullets do we have? 80. We're fine. Actually, hold on. How much shotgun ammo do I have? Actually, not as much as I thought I did. But I have plenty of rifle ammo, surprisingly. Okay, so if I do end up running of running out of handgun ammo, I've got sufficient backup with the other two weapons. And you know, if that fails, we'll just pull out the hammer. Um I don't have the code for this. Okay, we'll, we'll need a code for that. I'm sure back uh, back in the day I actually remembered the code. Like I didn't even have to look for it, I just knew it. Um you know, after like the second or third playthrough. But, uh, it, it's been a minute. I don't remember what that is. Okay. Anyway, so we have checked Indian Runner. It's got a lock on it. Now let's should probably go check out Annie's bar. Uh, right here. It's got like a little park area. What is it and where is it? This one happened to be a Konami game, would it? It is, actually. Um, this is... This is back when Konami was good. So... If there's any particular code that is known to be, you know, besides the Konami code. If there's any particular code you would like to share. That may be the, uh, the number for that. I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, this stinks. And race cause a problem. Okay, how hurt am I now? I'm still good. Okay. Does the Konami code even have relevance anymore? Can't really input that into a Pachinko machine. <laughs> Maybe there's a, there's a new Konami code that's actually being able to be put in through a Pachinko machine. Okay. This thing's definitely fast. They, they hit you faster than you're able to react to them. Here's a code near the near and dear to Tang and Rompo fans. One one zero one one zero three seven. Well, I'm afraid that's a four, that's a five-digit code. I I need I need a four-digit code. Um, but thank you for the input, nonetheless. Okay. We're still not hurt. Well, like not badly hurt. Okay. Anyways, open daily. This is a pool. Oh, it's actually open. Anyone in here? Anything in here? Oh no! Hold on. Whoa! It's Mr. Dude Man. Well, we met like at some point. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but I'm beat. I thought I was a goner there. So how'd it go? Did you find a way out? No, not yet. How about you? Zip. Zip. But it's too soon to give up. This craziness can't go on forever. A military rescue squad should be here any time now. I'm not sure about that. If they come through the town, we're home free. I hope so. I better get going. This isn't the time to stand around flapping our gums. Do you know a girl called Alessa? No. Well, uh, that was a bit of an awkward conversation we just had there, but sure. Mr. I think was his name Kaufman. No, Kaufman was. The th car. Kaufman must have dropped this. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. Slow mo. Ah, it's a shame that that code only gets talked about twice in the whole series. The uh, 11037 in Nangan Rump, I suppose. Interesting. I've never played it, but I'm, I'm sure it's important. Slow motion kick. If for some reason, most PS1 voice dubs have a similar low energy feel to them. It's, it was the early days of voice acting. Yeah, um, they uh, I didn't do things too well. Okay, looks like it's full of stuff. Kaufman key, um, interesting. I mean, they have got a receipt. Yeah, then a receipt has a code on it. It's been a while. Who's Alessa again? Um, I think. <sighs> No, no, the, the nurse is Alisa. Alisa. I think Dahlia Gillespie mentioned Alessa at some point. You know, the uh, the creepy religious lady. Yeah, she mentioned Alessa at some point or another. Okay. 4073. Well, now we know. Received from General Store. Thought to have been dropped by Kaufman. Okay. 4073 and a tree is written on the, on the tag. The key was thought to have been dropped by Kaufman. Alright, so we got a tree and a 4073. Okay, cool. That's uh, useful information, maybe, hopefully. Okay. Alessa, play this. <laughs> play this proceed. <laughs> yep. Gotta have. Gotta have that. We, have, we had Roombas. Yesterday on a hat in time, and today we have a, a, a lesser, the uh, 90s version of Alexia. Okay, or was it Alexia or, or Alexa? It, it, it doesn't really matter. Come on. All right. 
I got some health drinks, more health drinks, and nothing else of interest on the table. Alright, so... Out of the two things we just got, I know where we can use one of them. So we should go to the... Um, back to the Indian place. Indian... Indian runner. Okay, over here. To the right. And 4037, I believe it. No, 4073. I'll, I'll, ch I'll check again once we get there. Okay, well if you actually own one, it does matter, otherwise it won't wake up when you call its name. I Can you re can you rename your Alexa or a, a, a Alexi... Does it even recognize minor mistakes? Well, it probably does, actually. Uh, 4073. 4073. Okay. Uh, um, four zero seven three. What did, 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 did was it four zero seven three or four zero three seven? Oh yeah, four zero seven three. No, wait, no, f zero four seven three. What am I doing? How did how did I read that wrong so many times? Okay, there we go. Am I developing dyslexia this late <laughs> in, in my mid twenties? What the crap? Alright. And where is the trend so far with Kaufman? With Kaufman. <laughs> the first time we met, he wanted a hole to hold himself up in the hospital. And this time he wanted to wait up until, until help arrives. It seems like he's representing the sin of sloth. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a nice way to look at it. I never really saw it that way, but yeah, it seems like he just wants everyone to save him while he himself doesn't do much. And there's always like a monster that either attacked him or is about to attack him. I wonder if that has some symbolism too. Okay. It'd be nice to be able to change the wake word. So guess so guests and random video streams won't set it off. Yep. Something like very unique that only you would say. Whatever it may be. Is it drawer? Do you want to open it? Sure. What's in the drawer? Forget a key. A safe key. I will take the safe key. And I will also take the health drink. And I will also take the book. August 20th. He came by. I handed over the package that the woman had left here. September 12th. He showed up at Norman's too. Don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore. But I'm getting creeped out even more than before. Though thought of leaving town. But I'm afraid of what will happen if I do. Interesting. I think the cash register. Does not seem like it. I did. I damn it to read this again. Okay. And we've got a safe key. Okay, it's locked. Use the safe key. Um. Just the safe key. And there is drugs. Okay. Is there anything besides, like, drugs? It's kind of weird. Alright. Three loaves of bread, three cartons of milk, and two dozen eggs. Delivered to back door daily, 8 a.m. Rear entrance code 0886. Norman Young. Okay, remember that one. 0886. We're gonna have to remember that code probably. Okay, and then here's Norman's grand opening. Alright, so it is probably a motel called Norman's and we got a GoPro 0886 on it fun fact the guy that edited the uh, Pencil P Pennsylvania vines house video had his phone react multiple times to Vinny saying okay Google buy B bread <laughs> so there's this look more like documents and drugs but okay sure yeah it's, it's PS1 drugs you see okay in case you forget 0886 yeah all right thanks I will input that number when we reach a gate code thingy. Um, now, I believe I'm done checking Annie's bar. So the next order of business is 
that like park in the middle in this area over here not this one but this one there was something oh it's the boat okay there's a boat over there like a small pier can I access it I don't think I can no and I'm where is it what do you want from me Oh, it's a pterodactyl. Okay. Just going back around. Nope. Okay. For all the map doodles this main character does, you'd think he'd also like be like Daniel from Amnesia who writes notes about every little thing, like passwords. Your thing, but now you only keep track of where he's been. That would be mighty handy if you actually wrote down codes and stuff, though. Alright. Are you gonna come back around? Well, I can't kill him over there. Well, actually, I can. There we go. Anyways, we're now in the park. Where... What can I pick up over here? There's a little box here. Okay. Let's see. There's gotta be something in this park area. They even had, a, had an enemy here to guard it. I guess if we wanna look at it that way. They might have not been guarding anything, it's just an enemy. It's just chilling here. And you came into his territory and he says, I tells you, you gotta go kill that guy now. But he's gonna kill me. But that doesn't matter, that's what you were made for. No! And then you get shot and dash. It's silent hill, it's gotta be grim about it. Look like you kept shooting pterodactyl's crotches. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> they keep trying to hit me with their legs. That's, that's the, that seems to be their most vulnerable spa spot. Okay. Anyways, is, this? is there nothing in this park? Anything on the benches? Trash cans? No? What? Kim, are you being a silly goose and you put an entire area just for decoration? Oh, they were being a silly goose with this one. Okay. Well, we've got, um, Michael's something or other. I can't read everything that it says down there, but I, I can see the word Michael. Hello? I'm only concerned if it's a, um, a gorilla thing, a romper. It actually might, yeah it is. Okay. There we go. There's still something around here. Whatever it is, I can't see it, so I'm not too thrilled. But okay. Another one. Somewhere. Lock is jammed. Okay. I saw Vinny run into a Sun Hill bootleg on Dreams. Can anyone remind me of what the deal was with that game? Was it ever finished? PT, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, no, PT, what? Why is this one so resistant? What's up with that dog? Okay. Anyways, um, PT, it was, um, it was, PT, okay, PT stands for Playable Teaser. Um, and it was supposed to be, yeah, Silent Hills, specifically with an S at the end. Playable Teaser was like a demo sort of thing for Silent Hills, which was going to be a Silent Hill game directed by Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro. Um, you might have probably heard about this one because it was actually a pretty big deal when it was cancelled. Um, as it was going to be a Silent Hill game directed by those two masterminds of horror and violence and, you know, crazy plots. Um, 
Yeah, so they're the same. Yeah, so playable teaser was actually not like they actually said that like what you see in PT won't actually like PT won't actually make it into the final game, but it was more like a proof of concept. Like this is roughly what we want to the experience that we want to deliver with this game. It's you know like a like a very focused horror story with very creepy psychedelic imagery, you know, classic to Silent Hill, which was very much appreciated because Silent Hill after the third game or maybe the fourth game was um, given to someone else, given to like an American branch of Konami with completely different developers and they, you know, they tried to make a Silent Hill game but they didn't succeed very much. Um, so, you know, people were kind of aching for, like, a real uh, Silent Hill game um, for many years after, you know, Silent Hill 3. And then Silent Hill's PT was, was looking like it was finally going to be it. And then Konami just pulled the plug on that thing without prior warning, without telling them anything. They just said, nope, you, you, we're canceling the game. You're not allowed to finish anymore, and you know that was around the time where they just didn't want to give any credit to Kojima, because Konami is Konami and Konami is the worst. Um, so the project was cancelled by by Konami, uh, not by Kojima, not by Guillermo del Toro, not because it wasn't working out. It was actually going to work out perfectly, and uh, Norman Reedus was going to be like the main, you know, he was going to be like the actor of the main character, which was pretty cool. And, um, you know, it just left fans severely disappointed. Just nothing, nothing ever came from this whole experiment. Um, but Playable Teaser itself, you know, it was pulled from the PlayStation Store. And now any PlayStation 4 that has PT on it is, like, super expensive. Like, um, like 800, maybe 900 dollars just, just for a PS4 having... PT on it because it's you know it's a rare game just like uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World uh, that was a game that was really cool people really liked it but then they just randomly pulled it out of the store and now PS3s and Xbox 360s that have the game already installed are like super valuable um, so yeah yeah I've, I have to wonder how long PT actually took to make knowing the Silent Hills project as a whole yeah, so yeah I didn't realize it got so far before being canned so unceremoniously. Yeah, it was, it was pretty ridiculous. That's... That was like one of the main reasons um, people saw, people started hating Konami. Like, just they just became unfor unforgivable. You know, completely just canning a project that was going along perfectly fine. For no good reason. Just... Boom. What is wrong with this company? They don't deserve our money no more. And fair enough, lo and behold, they didn't. it's not like that was a, a big loss because they didn't make any good games afterwards. Unless you want to count, um, like, Metal Gear Rising, uh, no, Metal Gear Survive. That was shit. Dang, I like PT as much as the next guy, but I never would expect it to to cost that much. Yeah, I would I would not buy it because I mean it's it's a cool experience. It's a very well made um horror game, but I'm not about to. I'm not about to spend that much money just to play it. I can I can watch a like a YouTube video of it. I'll do that. Okay, not to mention Metal Gear Solid Five losing Hideo Kojima's credit. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five was another situation where like. They did everything possible to take out Kojima's um, uh, name from it. Post is on the wall. Don't look at that now, though. Pfft. You can kind of tell what it is from here. But anyways, um, the newspaper. Um, and now you know. Now Hideo Kojima works on his own company, Kojima Productions. <coughs> He's making Dead Stranding have a ran all the time with it. Guillermo del Toro isn't that stranding. Norman Reedus isn't that stranding. Um, everything is fine now for Kojima for the most part. Um, so I, I'm glad he got he got justice. Just uh, 
the Silent Hill franchise and anything that Konami currently owns. The best they've seen in recent years is just appearing in Smash. That's, that's the best I can give them. As a guest register, nothing special written here. Okay. That explains why people have been so dedicated to re remaking PT. Um, wherever they can. To preserve the legacy after it became un unobtainable by any reasonable means. Yep. Um, I believe there was even like a... Like a fan, um, a fan project to just like not remake PT, but like make a game, like a, just a, a brand new original game inspired by PT. Um, so that was a thing. Okay, here we have a motorcycle here, an old motorcycle. Looks like it's been sitting here for years. That's weird. The dust is wiped away just around the gas tank cap. Okay, well, can I do anything with it? I am um, apparently not. Health drink. And shotgun bullets. Barriers, all cans, and all the items have in the shelves. A fine layer of dust covers everything as, as if long abandoned. Okay, so we got some gasoline here. Actually, I believe this is another case of. Um, of a spot where you can actually refill. Refill your fuel tank in New Game Plus, and then use it for uh, one of the fuel-powered weapons of New Game Plus. But you know, not here. Okay, you want to ride that thing? It probably uses tank controls too. <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen the recent Fire? F Have you seen the recent Fire Fantasy Seven trailer? Visually, it looks and the voice acting sounds great. Um, but I'm still not sold on it being episodic. This is the first time I've heard of a JRPG being episodic. I usually hear Telltale games being episodic. Uh, yeah, I saw the trailer. It looks pretty cool, but um, I have some concerns. First of all, um, I remember when they said that the game probably won't be done until 2023. Um, you know, or something along those lines. And, you know, it's still 2019, so... I hope that they're not rushing the game, like ridiculously rushing the game just to get out the door for the PlayStation 4 generation. Um, or if 2023 meant the time they would be done with all the episodes of Final Fantasy VII, um, which is possible. But even then, um, I would not like to see uh, the whole thing being episodic, because that's just kind of weird to do it that way. Um, now fair enough, um, they're saying that like each episode of Final Fantasy 7 will be the length, will be like roughly the length of Final Fantasy 13, or like the size at least of, of Final Fantasy 13, maybe not the length, but like the general amount of content and how you can do it, um, which is impressive, uh, I'm not sure if to if actually believe them, but that's what they said they would do. And, um... You know. Oh, I may, may get this real quick. A small glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? It's like the busted vial I found in the director's office at the hospital. Alright, cool. Hello? Give me that. But now, what is this? I found it. Well, geez. That's none of your business. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? His voice changed too. You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. Got it? This guy just became like a company CEO from Boston. <laughs> and was he pissed? And in such a rush, too. I guess I wasted my time. But hurry, I'm worried about Cheryl. Okay, so... That was a huge-ass fetch quest to grab an item that we just lost. But there was meaning to that. Um... 
So that's actually gonna affect something uh, later. All right. If you're patient enough, you might be able to. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I feel like there's no excuse for a remake transforming a once whole game into an episodic chunks. Three days is not a bad reason to me. Uh, if you're patient enough, you might be able to wait for a compilation re release, like 10 years from now, maybe, at an affordable price. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not planning on getting it too soon unless it just looks too much fun to do. Um. What is the thing that the that affects the endings? Uh, that was one of the things that affects the ending. Um, okay, I should probably explain. There are actually besides the joke, you were four ending. There are four main endings that you can get in this game: the good ending, the bad ending, the good plus ending, and the bad plus ending. And that scene right there affects the ending in a in a particular way and there's actually maybe we'll get to see it tonight there's another thing that we'll manage to do that will affect the ending as well um hello okay and I'll go more in, into detail about which is like the canon ending and which and which ending you should go for, quote unquote, later. Right now, though, we're just focusing on beating the game. Am I? I will go ahead and say, though, I'm going for the best ending. The good plus ending. Why is this dog so resistant? Okay. Anyways, yeah, good plus and bad plus are those like new game plus ex exclusive endings? No, they're <laughs> It essentially just means good ending bad ending really good ending really bad ending So I'm going for the good plus ending week then the go reason I'm going for that one is because it requires the most um, Fetching and puzzle solving and stuff like that um, So You know it's the one that, that gets that there's like the most involved ending basically um, So that's what we're gonna show okay, I think zombie dogs might be one of the most my most hated things ever in video games Because of how creepy they are or because of how annoying they can be or any other number of reasons Okay, anyways, we now have a long way to go here We're done with the residential area. So that's neat. Okay, so what is this? That's just a long bridge. You know, I think I might start skipping enemies now. Uh, it's a bit too many of them. Yeah, I've wasted enough ammo already. I'm actually, I actually have not found a whole lot of handgun ammo. I'm running low. Hello? What's this? Oh, it's the sirens. Um, there we go, we're now in Spooky Sun Hill. Not again. No, this time it feels different. Rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare. This is more like reality becoming a nightmare. Oh no. I don't like this feeling. Like something bad will happen. I mean, everything around you has been pretty bad happenings. No doubt, something terrible is going on. Okay. Board, plus I don't like violence against dogs in particular. That's part of what made me quit the Walking Dead season 2 so quickly. Ah yeah, that dog scene on Walking Dead was pretty... Eh. Don't blame me for that one. Actually no, I gotta... I gotta explore around a little bit. Okay, we have been live for an hour. I think, I think I know which um... Which um, milestone I want to get to tonight um, before I'm satisfied with the stream. Okay, we have ourselves a little bit of an area that I can check here. 
There are also a lot of enemies, however. And the frame rate is also dying. And I can't go over. It. Ow! Okay. Does that mean we're stuck in Hellestein Hill Ward now? Uh, actually, I think we might. I don't. Rem I don't recall this actually changes back to normal from now on. Huh. I noticed that. That's probably a good cue for me to leave. Catch you later. Bye. We'll see you later, HLF. Thank you for joining us. Again, you'll be able to catch the stream archive later if you so desire. And, um... Can I go anywhere? Okay, no, they're still... They're still able to chase me. Okay, what... At this point, I think I actually have more healing items than I have ammunition, so it's actually better to just take the hits and heal than it is to waste time with shooting them. Um, let's see. Boy, am I glad we don't have, like, flashlight life or anything. Ow. Okay, you could also try meleeing. I could. But when there's too many enemies in a big open area like this, and they're fast, it is definitely harder to melee them. Um, better stop to, uh, to shooting them. Ow. Okay. I do have to keep track of my health, though. They're trying to check around while there's so many things chasing after you, it's, a uh, it's a little bit complicated. Where am I going? Um, there's an east side thing here. Like, what exactly can I do here? Well, okay, the camera angle just changed, and it probably did so for a reason. I can't do anything in there actually. Okay. Let's see. Ow. I am taking quite a bit of damage that I would prefer not to be, but... Uh, just for the sake of exploration, making sure we don't miss anything particularly important, like some more ri rifle ammo or... an ampule. That would be pretty neat. Okay. So where else can I go? Like, I know we're supposed to go to the, um... To the, uh... To the, yeah, lighthouse down there, but... What's over here? How long, how late, how long before this road just... Disappears? Okay, that, that long. The lakeside amusement park. There's an amusement there, yeah, that's... There's an amusement park here, that's important. Can I go in here? I can. Actually, hold on, let me... Well, never mind. Try to shoot the dog from the other side of the fence, but that didn't really work out. No, okay, now, there's definitely gonna be a reason why I'm able to come in here. Oh, hi, is that the Silent Hill symbol? I think it is. Alright. Um, there's nothing here? Okay, I've, I think I've only found like some rifle shells earlier, and maybe some more thing, but this is barren. Wow. Okay, anyways, let's see. Okay, I can only imagine how this looks from a bird's eye view. I bet this is like how the, la the tank class player draws all of those mobs in a dungeon by running around the room. Yeah, that's, that's one way to look at it. Okay. Let's see. Did I take too much damage from that? No, I'm fine. Yeah, dodging enemies is actually not that difficult. Ow. Oh, there are a lot of them. I'm trying to go... I'm trying to go downstairs. Yo, Jesus. Alright, let me... 
I might have to whip out the old ham boy here because there's just there's too many people here. Okay. Crap. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe just stick to. Actually, you know what? I got plenty of ammo. Get over here. Get over here. Okay. Yeah, just. Just get them out of here. Hey. There. Just get me in this boat. God, there's a lot of enemies out there. Alright. Hello. There's a body stuck in the bulkhead. Yeah, but it doesn't look like he's having a fun time, but that's none of my business. Alright. Sybil. Hey, it's Sybil. Harry. Hey, it's Harry. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? Yeah. I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy, and I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. I mean, you might still be losing your mind, but it's not this the same way you think. It's being invaded by the other world. The other world. A world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. You mean yours? Little by little, the invasion is spreading. Trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. There are drugs in a safe. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. The major out. blow to you. You need to rest. Well, yes, that's true, but also, so, I... it's not like he's lying. Hello. The oh, demon you. is awakening, spreading those wings. There's many demons with wings Talia here. Gillespie. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. That's called an eclipse. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. You sound way too happy about this. Everyone will die. Oh no. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just to stop the demon. The demon taking that child's form. E easy peasy, no problem, buddy. You can stop do it. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. 
Are we not on the lighthouse on the lake right now? And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. You will need to use it. Use what? The flowers. Oh, the triangle thing? With that, can you stop it? The pyramid. Okay. What about Sybil? Well, how did Harry figure this out? When did we learn about the other world? Did, did Dahlia say that? Yep, yeah. Dahlia Gillespie has been blabbering about the other world and the demons and Samael and all that shit for a while now. But basically since we met her. Okay. They're arming us up here. The ship's wheel. Don't worry about that now, though. Okay. Um, yeah, save point two. Go ahead and save. We're now on a boat. And I believe... Yeah, so... Um, Cheryl went to the amusement park. And we're going to the lighthouse. So... I guess that's what we'll do. Okay. Also, pretty, I actually, I'm pretty confident we can finish this game, not this stream, but next stream. Um, I remember roughly how much, how much uh, content there is left, and that seems about right. Okay, can you please kick it? You actually have to wait for it to be on ground level, that's hilarious. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I got a little bit more hang on ammo now. I can be a little bit more liberal with it, but I'm still gonna try to use the hammer. Actually, maybe the axe. Nah, the hammer. The hammer is definitely the way to go. Can I be a real ch chicken head that guy from here? I can. Wow. Oh, that is great. Okay, what else do we have around here? Okay. But yeah, I think the, there's actually only like one more dungeon esque area left in this game. Unless you count this as a dungeon esque area. Okay. Alright. Okay, that guy. Um. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's, that's what we're about to do, and then there's like one more, again, like, full-on area, like the hospital or the, or the school war. Um, after that, yep, that's just the final boss and we're done. Okay. Let's see, I can actually go about this one a bit slower. But I need to actually see where the enemies are. I'm going to go and fight them. I just saw something over there. Yeah, that's not moving over there. Probably a pterodactyl. Or whatever they're actually called. I'm, every enemy in this game does actually have a name. I just don't remember them. I, I just go by what they look like. The gorillas, the... I know the gorillas are called rompers. That's about it, though. <laughs> Okay. But beyond that, I don't know what the pterodactyls are actually supposed to be called, or what the, uh, What the dogs are supposed to be called. Etc. There's a lot of enemies here. Okay, that would probably be a good thing, because they might be, like, overloading the game, and it's gonna drop the frame rate. Ow. Can I kill this pterodactyl with this thing? I gotta try it. I want to at least try... 
Okay, now there's this def this definitely not gonna be how we kill this thing. Uh, let me let me part the gun. They're gonna fly away. Or is it just gonna? Okay, it's just running away. Now, uh. Keep going here, we'll reach a dead end. May have an item or two. In fact, it has a first aid. Okay. How, will the enemy die if it if it falls on on the lake? Or will it actually float on the lake? Alright. Alright, I don't know a whole lot about Sand Hill that Okay, it keeps healing every time it goes off screen. I, there's no point in trying to waste ammo with it anymore. Okay. Anyways, let's see. I don't know a whole lot about the Silent Hill game that has a party member that sticks with you for the majority of the game, but from what I hear on its AI behavior, it seems really well developed for a horror game, so it's not OP or such a liability that you'd rather be alone. Silent Hill 4? I think? Yeah, I believe Silent Hill 4 actually gives you an AI partner. But don't remember if it's... if that's the only one, because I'm not actually that familiar with Silent Hill um, Downpour. That one might have one too. And... And the Silent Hill Book of Memories, I want to say. That's a beat em up. Yeah, it's a Silent. It's a Silent Hill beat em up. That's supposed to not actually be that bad. It's just a fucking Silent Hill beat em up, which in itself is a problem. Okay. So um. You know, okay, there's a bit too many of those things flying around. It's, it's kind of hard to kill them in this sort of environment. Alright, but, um... Yeah, it's, uh, it is a thing. Okay, there's someone chasing after me. There's a dork. Okay, what's over here? Alright. Yeah, dodging all these things at once is a little bit complicated, if you will excuse me. Okay, let's just get in here. Excellent. And uh, how do I... What am I supposed to do here? The well, first thing would be to save. And now... Still fine on health. Been streaming for an hour and 19 minutes, so you know, roughly, roughly an hour and a half. It'd probably be, uh, you know, close to one and close to two hours by the time we're done here with the thing that I want to do. Okay. Is there a boss fight here? Oh, hi. What? Why is the audio cutting off? I actually remember this. Uh, okay, well, what should I do now? Should I stay up here? Should I go somewhere else? I didn't mark anything down on the map. So we'll just go back down. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Let me try to go up there again. Okay. Maybe I can use the floors to... Where is it? This thing? Okay, maybe not. Um, 
What else we got? I don't see any other key items that I could use here. Okay. Um, I guess just just go back out. Maybe there'll be a new cutscene or a key to where I'm supposed to go. Well, okay. The smart thing now would be to go catch up with Sybil in the amusement park. There's gonna be a million things out here. Yes, there is. I took care of one of them. Okay. Ow. Okay, hold on. Bit too many things jumping at me. Oh, oh give me a second here. Okay. Jesus. Now can I explore in peace? Ah. Okay. So what else is over here? Uh, we got nothing of interest. Um, nothing of interest either. Okay. Oh, we got a cutscene now. Teleporter is back here. Cool. Sybil hasn't come back. Oh no! That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Wh which creep? The be on time. Kaufman or da Dahlia? They're both pretty creepy, actually. All right. So, the amusement park, how do we get there exactly? I believe the road to it was blocked. Okay. Because I now have to wear... Uh, wear conscious clothing, because it's just too freaking... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, we gotta deal with sores again. Uh, it's too freaking hot now. So I can't, I can't wear my uh, my winter clothing, and it's making me. It's making, it makes it kind of uncomfortable to stream around here. It's very much more uncomfortable to stream during the summer than it is during the the winter because in the winter, you just puts clothes on and you know. Well, actually no. In the winter, it gets pretty cold here too because then my feet get cold. But in the, in the summer, you're sweating, which is also uncomfortable. You know, it just kind of depends on where, which one do you prefer to deal with. Do you prefer to be sweating, or do you prefer, um... Uh... Or do you prefer to be, like, have cold feet? And dry hands, now that I think about it. Actually, maybe I do prefer to be sweating than to have, like, painful, bleeding, dry hands. <laughs> it's so smooth now, hi, Bessible. Yeah, well, she's not. She is. She is not okay. We know that now. Hello. Okay, we have ourselves a sewer map connecting to the amusement park. Sure. Right, so we're not done with sewers yet. And the smart thing to do would be to, you know, to sort of conserve ammo. We're gonna go ahead and put on our big boy. Hammer. Actually, I'm gonna try using the axe against the uh, the enemies here. It might be efficient. All right. It seems that we don't have as many detours here as uh, either. Um, we can go straight, look in an area. Like there's a couple of side rooms you can go into, but otherwise it's a pretty straight shot just to get to the ladder of the other side. That's rough. Having a fan or AC would make your voice or your heart to hear. So sweating it out would definitely be uncomfortable. Yeah, um, like I have a fan right next to me. I could turn it on, but uh, I'll be okay. Okay, no, this. 
How many times? Oh, look at this. Look at this shit. I mean, I can stun lock it. But no. Look, you saw how many takes, hits it took to actually take it down. I, I, I'm not touching this stupid thing. There is a way to go. Okay. Oh, that's where we got things here. I'm not even gonna walk with them. Hold on. Uh, yeah, we got a room here. Uh, there's nothing in in that area. Okay. Uh, it's just easier to dodge these people. I'm just gonna go. Okay. If I need to explore something in particular, I'll go ahead and take a look at it, but I'm not gonna try to go out of my way too much just to um, fight all the enemies here. Okay. Anyways, something I can actually do to not make too much noise though is uh, use my um, use my hand fan. Not my electric fan, but like the little like you know, Asian style fan that I that I have. That helps. It doesn't make as much noise and it works. It it does its intended purpose for a little bit. Oh we got this thing's okay. These are the enemies that replace the, the ki the children in in the school in the PAL region. Those mole things. Um ow. Okay. You can remind me of liquors. Yeah, they're kind of similar to liquors. But anyways, yeah, I can I can just use my small hand fan if I need to. Okay, we're go, we're going to fight these guys. Right, form a line. There you go. In order, in order, please. Don't cut in line. Everyone's gonna get their turn. There you go. Okay. And these look like hellish teddy bears. Indeed. Okay. Bring conga line for dead, that's what that was. Alright. So I guess I went the wrong way. It's not going the wrong way, what the hell? Over here? Over here, okay. Jesus Christ, okay, that's uh. That's this uh, sewer people coming out of sewers. It's not like bullets. I don't like how loud that is. Okay. Yeah, please don't be surrounded by the. the, the bootleg ninja turtles. Ah, damn. Okay, well, here's some. uh. horse rights. Okay. Let me just. anything over there? Nope. Ow! Send me go up the ladder, please. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, so it almost looks like it's raining down here in the source, but it's actually probably just the water leaking through. Which is basically rain. I mean. <laughs> okay, what's, what, what enemies do we have over here? Sewer enemies or. Or dogs and pterodactyls and things. I would actually prefer the sewer enemies because they're not as fast. Um, it is. I can't see it. Where is it? Oh, oh, it's these guys. Well, there you go. This is. <laughs> you've never seen them before. These are the uh, the little ghost enemies. They're just there for show. They don't actually do anything to you. The way the background audio picks up in tempo and then stops off as on is spooky. Yeah, it's it's a pretty efficient method of getting you hyped up and then just like forcing you to stop getting hyped up. Okay, I don't have a map of this area though, so just have to deal with it. Okay, can you please go ahead and disappear so you stop making my radio freak out? Okay, thank you. Now, is this one also a... Well, that's... Ah, that's a kid. I haven't seen this guy in a while. 
Okay. Again, don't have a map of this area. So I'll just have to muscle memory it. This amusement park is not amusing, but uh, it's a park. If we Does every Silent Hill game have an amusement park? Maybe. No. Okay, actually, I don't think Silent Hill 2 has an amusement park. Silent Hill 3 has an amusement park, though. And that's moving. Okay, well. I would not get on one of those things if, if I were anyone, but, you know, anyone in this town. Where is it and what is it? Oh, it's a kit. Okay. There are many enemies around here though, like... My radio is like almost consistently on around here. Okay, it's this guy again. I'm just gonna follow him until he just stops. Yes. Okay. Anyone else around here? I mean, well, yes, there's someone else around here. What is it, though? Is that a thing over there? It's a trash can. It's not a creature though. Yeah, this place is definitely going for the creepiness more than the uh, more than the uh, the threat. Okay, did I not just hit the shit out of you? Alright, am I hurt now? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, so we've got ourselves a thing here. What can I do with the thing? Can I operate the machinery? I cannot operate the machinery. Okay. I'm surprised the place is actually operational. Despite being like literally rusty as hell and just... Just generally not having a good time here. Okay. I wonder if the ice cream is still cold. Theme park. Okay. What is it? It's a kit. I'm not sure what to do with this enemies, but they just they're not they're not even any I don't I don't even want to call them enemies, they're not threatening. They're not trying to hurt me. They're just they're just they're, those are just NPCs. Non playable characters. They are characters in the world that you cannot play as, but they are there. Okay. Anyways, you know what I actually kind of like to do. Sorry, just a certain thought just came to my mind. With how extensive uh, dreams is on uh, on PS4, I wonder if someone would actually be willing to like try to recreate a game with the L sword playstyle on dreams, and just you know, like basically cre recreate L sword. Without the, uh, without the uh, n the negative things of it, you know, like the um, the, and someone to pay to win and extremely grindy scenarios, just just good old like 2012 L sort with nothing but uh, but with all the characters and you know playing normally. I would love that. All right, yeah, that's there. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with dreams and all that stuff. How flexible is Dreams as a game maker? Extremely flexible. You can... Like, just look up some of the stuff you can make in it. Like, you can make platformers, puzzle games, first-person shooters, action hack and slash games. You can do just about anything you want in that game. Okay, so... Here's Sybil on a wheelchair for some reason.
You don't even have to make games, by the way. You can actually just make models and cutscenes and anything you want to do. It's it's an extremely flexible creation engine. Okay. Anyways. Oh, no, she pulled up. She's big. You saw her eyes were red, so it means she's, she's not having a good time. Anyways, very important. This is actually a, a crucial boss fight in this game. Um... Well, damn. Just hit me with a gun. Why don't you? Okay. So you can fight her, of course, if you want. But you can actually see a thing on her back. She's got like... Yeah, she's got like a thing on her back. And... I think... There we go. Um... I think I'm in the right spot. You remember this thing? Well, okay. There we go. If you approach her from the from behind, you can do that. Use your little thing here. And take this freaking Resident Evil looking parasite out. There you go. Sybil. And now she's a okay. Wake up. Snap out of it. The evil SpongeBob reference. Harry, what happened? You got Resident Evil, <laughs> but we saved you. We'll talk, I'll take care of you. <laughs> Approach from behind. Throw liquid in front. Why did they take your daughter? I don't know. I'd love to Why know myself. Her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. Ooh, the plot thickens. I actually haven't told her yet. Ooh, the plot thickens even Probably more. Probably already knows anyway, though. Now, oh, that's unfortunate. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Well, that explains a couple things. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her... No matter what. That's the spirit. You don't have to be a biological dad to be a dad. Ironically saying that on Mother's Day, <laughs> but you know. Okay. Hey, fathers can still celebrate Mother's Day. Single... Uh, single parent children, you know. If they only got a dad, that dad is also a mom. I don't care what anyone says. Hello. Show. Hold it right there. Sound threatening. You are what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? Oh no, she's got super saiyan powers. <sighs> Damn. She really just have magical powers. I just straight up, she's a, she's like a... Oh, it's the floors. Are you not noticing the thing? Oh no. And she's dead now. Well, that's unfortunate. Cheryl, give me back my daughter. Harry, you actually look threatening in here. We meet at last, Alessa. Oh, that's Alessa. Alia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? So, how are you surviving the demons, Dahlia? This is the end of your little game. 
Oh, that's her mom. Could she be? You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? She's probably not a very good mom. I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! You could get you could have gotten a better voice actress. Jesus. Fucking PS1 voice acting, I tell you what. I both love it and hate it. It's so on? bad it's good. The particle effects is just <gasps> killing this game right now. But jeez. <laughs> this whole game is just getting creepier by the minute. And I love it, because it's a horror game. It's exactly what you want to see. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. Yeah, clearly. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms, but nothing really unusual down there. I think everything in this place is unusual, unless you're used to it. I got this weird feeling, like I'd been there before, like something happened there, but I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait. What Please understand. To a basement, probably? Listen. Damn. What's that? What's what? That sound. From down there. It's coming from the basement. W what sound? Are we not rumbling? Anyways, well. <laughs> it's, that's actually the thing that I wanted to do in this stream. So. Yeah, we're officially now in the last area of the game. So I think we'll be finishing this game next week. But I would like to explain the whole um, ending situation. Real quick, so um, actually, we'll leave it a little noise here, ambient noise. So, rescuing Kaufman. I, I I believe this is how it works. Rescuing Kaufman was a completely optional thing, and whether you do it or not depends. Will change if the game, if the ending will be a good ending or a bad ending. Well, not rescuing, yeah, rescuing Kaufman and doing the whole. Proceeding fetch quest with getting that thing from the motorcycle. You do all that, you get the good ending. You don't do any of that, you get the bad ending. And with Sybil, uh, if you went out of your way to grab that um, that liquid and use that to take the parasite out of her, um, or you have the option of just fighting her and actually killing her. Which I didn't want to do because I feel bad. <coughs> that will that will depend. Mm, that will change if if the ending will be a good plus ending or a bad plus ending. Basically, that 
saving her adds the plus to the ending, whereas not saving her keeps it without the plus. So um, that's how it works. So if you want to get a good or bad ending, it depends on uh, of um, where you save Coffin or not. And if you want it to be the plus version of that ending, you save Sybil by using the liquid. Um, or if you just want the normal ending, you kill her. And that those are the two factors that affect the ending in this game. Besides the UFO ending, that's an entirely different thing. We're not messing with that on this stream. Okay, here it is. Cheryl's a demon child, we'll save her by killing her. <laughs> Seems like a logical thing to do. Just one thing. Have you seen the little girl around here? That would have been pretty funny actually. But um I mean he basically said that just not in that but specific tone of voice. Anyways, we are now officially in the final area of the game. I know this kind of just looks like the um, the ho the hospital, but it's actually like a new area that looks like the hospital, but doesn't actually have everything. Like has some new rooms and stuff we can do in it. Um, so that is what we will do in the next and final stream of Silent Hill One. When that stream is going to be? Again, I mentioned that we might be able to do it on this coming Tuesday night. Aiken Labs is actually going to be completely off streaming this week, so I have every day possible to stream. But um, you know, I I can I, the one I can mostly bet on right now is Tuesday night because on Wednesday I come into work like at, like at noon. I, I I can take my time the night before. Alright, and that will be the end of Silent Hill 1, and then the next time we stream will be Silent Hill 2, probably. Or, you know, maybe, maybe it will be a hand in time, but, you know, for, for now, the you know, next game after that will be Silent Hill 2. Okay, great stream, Hollow, looking forward to the next stream, whenever that is. I uh, appreciate it, hope, I mean, glad you enjoyed the stream. Anyone else watching the stream right now, or watching it on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the stream as well. Um... And again, kind of weird to do a spooky game at this time of day, but again, we can do spooky games at any time of the year. It doesn't have to be October for us to do spooky games. It's more fitting in October, but it's not obli obligatory to do it in October. I would never get troll of my spooky games if I stuck to only October streams for them. Anyways, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been all for today. And so here says goodbye. Allo play 45.